Hey team, Ruben here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to calibrate your TIFF 8900 combustible gas detector. Start by taking the little dial here and turning it to on, where you got one light on, and just turn it on enough to get the light to turn on. That's it. Once it is warmed up, it'll start ticking. Now this one was already kind of warm, so it started ticking quite quickly. Before I did this, I did a dry run of this video in my first attempt, I think it took about, I don't know, maybe 30, 45 seconds to start ticking, but because it was already warm, it starts ticking right away. And then next, we're gonna turn up the sensitivity on this and keep turning it up until I get the second light starts to be lit. We'll keep going, keep going. Now, it starts to go fast. Now it's gonna slow down again, and we will wait, and we'll wait, and we'll wait. It's not slowing down as fast as I thought it was going to there. I've got just a little bit of that second light showing. Let me look at it in my screen here. There's nothing. There's a little bit of that second light. It's going a little faster. And just make sure it stays there because once you stop, sometimes it'll slow down, slow down, slow down. We want it to stay at that faster ticking. And then just to be sure it's doing what we want it to do, let's give it, put a little breath in there. If it sings when you do that, it means you're right in the sweet zone. That's exactly where you want it to be. I'll shut this off. It's kind of annoying while I'm trying to talk. It should be in that, in that sweet zone. Now, the manufacturer says for lower sensitivity, you know, dial it down. For higher sensitivity, dial it up. Really, as far as I'm concerned, this is the sweet spot. You should have it right in here. It shouldn't be ticking a lot faster. It shouldn't be ticking a lot slower. It's just kind of a fast tick. And it's good to use to try to find combustible gas leaks, like looking around the jackets of boilers. And of course, it's good to use around gas lines, anywhere that you suspect a gas leak. But just remember, just a quick reminder, that you can get false positives with these things. They are very sensitive. You never identify a gas leak by using your combustible gas detector. The only way you positively identify a gas leak is by putting a leak detection solution on there, a liquid detection solution, and you see bubbles. If you don't see bubbles coming out, you do not have a gas leak. Basically what I'm saying is, you use this to look cool during the home inspection, but you don't use this as a definitive tool to tell you you definitely have a gas leak. It just helps you pinpoint the exact location of where you need to put your soap solution. Okay, that's it, that's all. Thanks for watching, take care.